Unfortunately, all the ground that we covered down here to take the oil is going to be lost. But keeping America in the fight is a much bigger deal. Alright, so some of Anderson's units are starting to arrive. You aren't actually assigned to this for some reason. That was weird. If you guys want to attack as well, you're welcome to. Because that would probably be kind of useful. Right, how are we doing for equipment? Artillery deficit is still freaking terrible. So I think I would like to invest a bit more into that. Combat unit destruction, that's another doctrine. Ground support. Air superiority, let's do that one first. Still got some nice green air here, which is good to see. Except they're just rolling in behind us with everything we take. I mean, you lot are coming in with some reinforcements, which is nice to see. But right now, not exactly making the best progress. But we're causing damage. We're not taking a huge amount of our own. Yeah, we still have a surplus of medium tanks. So much so that we may actually start making another new Mosley army division. And this is going to be 1940. I just realized we are still using 1939 guns. Let's make sure we're using something a little bit better. It appears the Syndicate's government is on the last legs in the American Civil War. Almost all of its land has been swallowed up. Which unfortunately means that the CSA is going to start suffering some really big penalties. Really? God damn it. Well, this was a disaster. Attention! We might actually lose the entirety of Anderson's army here. This whole game has been a flipping disaster. It's not exactly going well. At all. <laughs> Surrender monkeys. I'm actually astonished they didn't get further than they did. Yes, sir. 20 days! Oh, they are so dead. God damn it. It's mostly annoying just because of how few units they had when they actually joined the war. I don't know why they did so early. Oh, it's because the USA declared on them, didn't they? Yeah. Deal with the devil. CSA was dead as soon as they did deal with the devil. Not deal with the devil, the um, white peace. Peace deal. Ceasefire. Whatever it's called. Did I open the Scottish oil fields? No, I haven't yet. 
daring plan for the Atlantic. I'll do with that in a minute. Um, because I want to take a look at the Chief of Navy. Except I don't know what I want to do. Yeah, actually, we probably do need to do this now. Fine. A daring plan for the Atlantic. Admiral Norman Holbrook has come to us with a plan to break the Canadian station in Iceland. Recently returning from a hunting trip, Holbrook has the inspiration come to him. Eventually, everyone falls into a routine pattern. He believes if we track the Canadians long enough, they will eventually reveal a pattern of which, of when they retire to the harbour. Once we learn the timing, we can send a submarine to blow up the armoured cruiser before they even know what is happening, giving us the edge of the Atlantic. Go on then. Well, at least Portugal and Italy look like they're doing okay. The Germans have ceased their attacks on France. I feel like we're starting to get the edge in the naval war too. Though they still have a lot of convoys. Thankfully my own convoy numbers have rebounded quite spectacularly. Who are you guys fighting right now? Just a couple of small ships. Fine. This is one thing I really did do wish happened automatically. Just split them out individually, not into that big stack. It's it's a bad system. Well, at least the tank divisions have been a uh, positive. So attacking across the river into Porto seems to me to be a really bad idea. So how about we go from here instead and try to push south? And there it is. Victory at the home front is going to allow us to start building a lot more factories a lot more quickly. And it's now time for Pletchley Park. Let's get the research buffs. In the north of Buckinghamshire, a crack team of military intelligence researchers have emerged. Despite minimal funding, the Bletchley Park Electricians Union, in coordination with the Foreign Intelligence Service, has produced singular results. We should expand Bletchley Park's facilities and provide them substantial state funding. Chain Thee, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Oh! Are you actually going to make this? No way. As long as they get there before their organization completely gives out. This might be the biggest escape of all time. Gosh, you made it! You actually made it, you crazy madman! Heck yeah! Because now we have the port, we're actually getting supply here again. And you know what? Up here would be industry. Well, if we try to shout, we get all the oil, and we could continue the the oil battle going on. And it would be mostly relying on my own troops. We don't need to hold as vast a territory. Although down here we would have the Appalachian, so if we could take the east coast, we could probably hold this quadrant relatively easily. 
Oh, especially, yeah, if we took this area, that's a major industrial area. Oh, I know where they're sailing. I'm okay with that. I intend these guys to stay in America. I'm just trying to decide whether I want to hold on to the Houston area and take the oil, or if I want to take the uh, New England with the industry. I think I'll actually take New England. Mr. Anderson, starting to believe, yeah. Well, the attack on Portugal continues. And that's going to free up some substantial forces to go up against the Germans. It's not over yet. We even have the convoys for this. The Great Exodus. Well, we have another army in production now, so... Um, that's good. And you know what? Yeah, I'm not going to send you any more guns. Okay, that cancelled already. Good, good, good. My submarine's going. Oh, is my submarine's going against high seas fleet? No. I mean, if anyone could pull that off, it would be the subs. Hey, hey! Finally, you got Sea Wolf. Excellent. Well, Silent Hunter, Concealment, and Torpedo Expert. Brilliant. So, Edward Evans has just become really good at doing what he does. You're down to 11 ships. What the hell happened to your destroyers? Jeez. Um, that's a problem. shipyards. Oh, did I do the wrong one? No, it's gone. Oh, you were cut off here? Damn it. Although... Here come the reinforcements. Troops in. That's not good. Oh, 
How are we doing here? Yeah, the Portuguese front's going really well. Oh, that's a naval invasion. But you should be able to turn that back, okay. Alright. Unit training is going pretty nicely. Oh, they just took Philadelphia. God damn it. Half of this strategy was because I'd be able to strike at New York, and now I really can't. Now this might be a death trap. The Raid of Cumberland. Tonight marked the appointed uh, night of the raid. That also means I lost two of my marine units, which sucks. Our brave submarine crews operating underneath Holbrook took, the, took to the sea and carefully made their way to the harbour, where the Canadian fleet was docked for the night. Due to the lax nature of the recent conflict in the Atlantic, there seems to be no real attempt to post adequate sentries to stand guard against something like this. As Holbrook surfaced, he fired two salvos of torpedoes in the HCM, HMCS Cumberland. The first, two, the first salvo was ineffective, bouncing off the hull. The second salvo ripped a massive hole in the starboard hull, immediately causing it to list over and begin to flood. Following the display of fireworks, Holbrook and his crew submerged and began their escape back to the safety of English waters. In and out, nice and clean. So we lost our outpost over there. So we've basically got to hold on to Baltimore at this point. Alright, you are going to be responsible for pushing out to that. And I'm going to need to train a couple more Republican Marines, apparently. Oh, I can actually get a bunch of them. Okay. Lost the Asian Civil War, lost America, don't have Mexico, and France and Spain are holding tenuously. This is a fair fight. It's fine. Fall of Gibraltar. Brilliant. Yep, loads of naval invasions coming in. Actually, it looks like Ru yeah, Russia's losing too. Somehow. Poland winning, but Russia's losing. Things you like to hear. The Cumberland submarine raid has been discovered. This morning, we received a telegram from the government of Iceland demanding reparations for the sinking of the H... MCS Cumberland. They claim to have indisputable evidence against us that prove we were the ones responsible for the loss of their ship. Our submarine's crew claim they were in and out without being detected. How should we respond to this outrageous accusation? Yeah, it was us. <laughs> it was totally us. You morons signed a deal with the wrong people and look what happens. Well, I'm pleased to say that the new Mosley Army tank division will have a fifth tank in the field soon. Oh man, this has been a bitter and grueling war. And we are really short on guns at this point. We are so heavily outnumbered in terms of factories. I actually have more than France at this point. The hell has France been doing? France is usually the industrial juggernaut of our faction. Hey, Porto's fallen. Good. Let's see if we can push him out of Galicia. And then we need to push him out of the south. Again. It's an AI. It won't become an industrial juggernaut. That was a lot of German ships we just sank. Nice. Getting some revenge is what i like to see. Six percent convoy protection. Yep, that is a very big problem. Although we are now making more of the escort ships. screens. Carrier task forces done. Uh, well. 
We definitely want the floating airfield to make our aircraft carrier planes even better. Working on you, still working on you. I would like to get to mechanized. You know what, we'll start on that now. Although I also really need to start working on the new medium tanks. You're short on artillery and support equipment. Uh, actually, we need to make you high priority as well. I want you to have the right equipment. Okay, we have enough shipyards to make some more of the escorts, and we need to keep those in production. Aggressively, because that's our very lifeline. Guys attacking exactly. I still control Houston. They're just being very slow at retaking it for some reason. Venezuela declared war on the West Indies. Whose side's Venezuela gonna join? That's really bad, Venezuela. If you lose now, we have no oil. Oh man, that might well be the death knell of our faction. Spies report back from Canada. Our spies in Canada are reported back to us about the public opinion in Canada towards Iceland since the sinking of the Cumberland. In contrast to what we thought, the surprise attack did not discourage them, but rather emboldened them. Duh. They remain resolute in the commitment to Iceland. How should we proceed? Let's blockade it. When in doubt, blockade. And if that doesn't work, blockade it harder. Get military access to Venezuela and make sure they don't lose. I am stretched so thin as it is, I really have nothing spare. Unless I withdraw completely from America, which I'm reluctant to do because this is an easy way in. Come on. Finish this off. Alright, tanks are done. Good. Um, right. I see an opportunity, and that is to take this and make sure that you do not connect. That, that's the big thing here. Please take the train. Get there quickly. Letchley Park. Finished. Good. Let's get statistical warframe. Oh, warfare. This war will be won with tables and chalkboards of the mathematicians and researchers. We have set our priorities accordingly. Um, I prefer boats. I'll, I'll take boats. Extensive conscription, because we are running a little bit low on manpower at this point. Close enough. Yes, sir. You go ahead and join Hobart's crew. You're sailing, that's good. Um, Sterling, how are you doing? Sterling's back, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Sterling in for his old army. And then I'm going to put these under the command of Wittringham. And you lot... Oh, man. <laughs> That's a big old fleet there. Blimey. 
You'll be responsible for this. You're not sailing all that way. Come on. In this, Britannia does not rule the seas. Alright, then you can come down here and drive. And then you can come down here and take the train. Choo choo. Blockade of Iceland, our blockade over the course of the last week has been of great success. All trade with the Royalists in Canada has ceased on Iceland. Our intelligence reports no action from the Canadians to relieve their trapped squadron of sailors in Iceland. We have Iceland right where we want them. Good. And then these guys will also need to sprint down here and take the train. Off you go. All right, you guys ready? Close enough. Go. And planes. Planes are in the wrong place. You go there. Not you. You stay off there. Anderson's losing troops. Well, we took Washington. So that's something. I don't really know what to do about America. I mean, as long as you guys can hold here, it's fine. Though I'd really like you to have been able to push out. At least to there. But I have a feeling we would need tanks for this. Following a two-week period of blockade, their merchants and traders must be desperate for some ability to resume trade. We proposed a treaty for them. In the deal, we press our claims over the waters, which naturally give us a sizable portion of all the profits that come from the fish caught by the Icelandic fishermen. Any disagreements with said policy will be seen as an attack against our sovereign waters, and would be subject to military intervention. Let's press our advantage. There we go. We're reclaiming all of this. Yeah, they managed to push out to Seville, but they were unable to merge up. Did the 5th Division, right? Yes, yes they did. Good stuff. Huzzah! Oh wow, you really nearly got organizer. Heck yeah. And you do have unyielding defender. Which you may as well grab and I'm gonna say offensive doctrine. No, defensive doctrine. And then we're gonna save that last slot for logistics wizard. Yeah! Alright, Sterling, how's it going? Nothing for you, Mr. Anderson. Nothing for you. Okay, uh... Oh, I had another army with just two men in it. Huh. Okay. Thank you, 
guys have had any fighting time. Oh yeah, what about you, Briggs? You're getting a lot of experience. Battleford Sarkament, that's another land army thing. Task forces. Let's grab you. Yes, we need to teach our navy what a task force really is. Speaking of navies, how is the construction going? Iceland rejects our demands. With the rejection of our terms, we now have a justifiable excuse to land forces on the island. They have no military and, and no means, and would have no means to resist us. Should we land a large force on display of power, or use our resources elsewhere, and deploy a smaller force? Deploy our power! And don't screw this up. You guys are now completely surrounded. Let's drop all those guys. Well played, team. Well played. More factories. I think that these are going to be needed for guns. We just need boots on the ground at this point. And we need a lot of them. Halborg, thank you very much for the 11 month resubscription. You are getting very close to the 12 month. Thank you very, very much for that. Volcanic Kitten wants me to drink some tea. Elksoft wants me to drink some tea. And the suited gamer. Uh, YT and Fen Monkey, thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Look how weak some of these guys are. It's like, here, have a bullet. Now, to the front lines with you. Oh, 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 I see opportunity. Push out, push out, push out. Yes! Huzzah! Baltimore does have space for aircraft, and we have aircraft available. Let's start causing them some problems. Our forces have successfully landed on Iceland. The locals put up no resistance and we were able to quickly secure quick key positions throughout Reykjavik and take control of the island. Does that mean it's a puppet of ours now? No. Not yet, anyway. Okay, finally, we should probably start thinking about some of these. Screen attack and defense, I think, might be what we need. Or the sortie efficiency. Naval max range would also be very helpful, actually. You know what? We're going to double down with base strike. Oh, that's another naval invasion, but you guys look like you have that well in hand. Uh, meanwhile, you are going to go and close this pocket, and then we're going to go out to Portugal proper. <clears throat> Ready to move. It's more ground support, don't mind if I do. In fact, you two may as well go and join them. Reinforce Mr. Anderson a little bit. Iceland's new government. With our conquest of the island, our delegations have been busy drafting up a new government for us to install on Iceland. The previously marginalised syndicalist population will be given control of the new Alting, which ultimately answers to us. Union of Iceland has joined the Third International. You're welcome, team! Ready, Crush them. Right, these are escorts. Oh man, our escorts have been absolutely pulverized. Oh, oh, oh man. Well, hopefully these new escorts are going to be a bit better than the old ones. There we go. Job's done down there. So, next, I think what we want to do is push them out of Seville. 
do an attack across that. Philadelphia. So we can take Philadelphia, secure all of this, and we have a nice little landing ground here. Which should be pretty defensible. Just need to make sure that I keep bringing in more reinforcements as they become available. And in fact, the guys that are currently facing Portugal, I might send them to America. Once we've dealt with our threats back at home. Oh, Italy! Must I do everything for you guys? <sighs> and there it is, Philadelphia is ours. Oh, that's a naval invasion of England. But we have a really good defense here, so I doubt that anything's going to come of this. Hopefully. Hey, Mordred, would you consider a let's play of other mods like Kaiser Redux, Red Flood, World Set Free? I mean, maybe. I do want to do Old World Blues again at some point. Kaiser Redux, lots of people have asked me about it, so I should probably try it at some point. Okay, okay I'm really happy with controlling this region. We have three ports, Washington, Baltimore, and Philadelphia. Rivers flowing through this area. And there's a fair bit of industry, and we have air bases. So we can start moving more and more aircraft over here too, as necessary. Awesome! Alright. You guys ready? I think you guys are ready. But before we start this, I'm going to have to say thank you very much to everyone for watching. I do hope you're enjoying this. If you are, be sure to hit that follow button so you get notifications when I'm live again in the future. If you've really enjoyed this, then do consider subscribing. It helps the channel out, lets me do more of this kind of content. You can, of course, check out the Patreon, which I have at patreon.com slash Viking, and also a Discord, which you can find at the Discord link, which I'm sure will appear in any minute now. Don't know if you know this, but I'm pretty sure if you click escape in the right where the videos are, you can disable the little green pop-ups. I'm sure I can click escape on the right where the videos are. I'm guessing you mean the videos that pop up when you click on these things. I every single time click do not display this again and it always displays again. There is something about that that's just not working. Anyway, I will be back again in one hour and a half, so at 10.30 this evening. Remember, Wednesday is the day that I start a little bit later on the second stream. For some Conqueror's Blade. So at 10.30 this evening we'll be playing some Conqueror's Blade. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I will catch you guys then. We... Oh, they're doing a thing with Thambanar? We Yeah, we definitely raid that. Okay. Twitch.tv slash... Because apparently no CB cast are having a discussion with the developer from Anbanar. So head on over there, say hello from Mordred Viking. I'd love to see their chat absolutely lit up by the Viking raid, which you can do. No, oh, they're currently talking about Troy, though. Which you can do by copying and pasting a Viking raid just like this. Or if you are a subscriber and have access to the long ships, then you can bring this one instead. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Do I know what the world set is? No. Uh, tell me on Discord. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you all later. I think, I think this is probably a good...